y'all. I don't know if y'all can see me. I got my glasses on, and y'all, I am blind as a bat. But, anywho, up here at, um, my, my, um, up at the farm, waiting on my son and my husband to get done doing their little chores they got to do. They had, um, started doing, um, chores this morning, but they end up having to come back and do some more for, um, today. Because, y'all, it is hot as the dickens. It is like 71 or 77 here. But, baby, it's hot. Too hot. And me, personally, all day today, I haven't felt like doing anything because of my health. Like, my health issues are a whole nother story or whatever, um... I'm having something that they call a fibromyalgia flare. And y'all, when I say I feel like I've been hit with a Mack truck, I feel like I have been hit with a Mack truck. I was um, doing a video call with my sister earlier, and I just had to laugh throughout our whole little conversation because I was in so much pain or whatever. Like, I was at my mom's house or whatever, but I literally had to laugh because I was hurting so freaking bad. This pain is beyond, whew, I don't wish y'all my worst enemy, just put it like that. Like, it'd be like just this stabbing pain and it's, uh, and then it'd be feeling like my skin is on fire, like nerve endings are that ain't no joke. Nerves are no joke. Nerve endings are not a joke. So, whatever this is or whatever, this fibromyalgia or whatever, y'all, to each they own, like, I don't wish this on nobody. Like, I used to see the commercials about people with fibromyalgia and stuff like that. And, you know, and you just see the commercial, but you never think in a million years something like that will happen to you. Like, you see the commercial for shingles, okay? You'd be like, oh, wow, well, shingles. You know, if you had chicken pox, there's a possibility of you getting shingles because the, sh the shingles live or dormant inside your body. But you never think, like, oh, you'll get shingles. Like, me, per se, I don't have shingles. It's just, it was an example. But I'm just saying, like, you sit there and you watch all the commercials and infomercials and stuff like this, and you... I heard about fibromyalgia like years ago, you know what I'm saying? And that was like when they first started, like you heard more about it. But now it's like more frequent. Every time you turn around, it's like they, um, they're talking more and more about it, finding out more and more about it. But this right here, baby, this pain is no joke. I would rather go in labor all three times all over again than to have this pain or whatever. Because this is some horrible stuff. Sleep. <laughs> it's like sleep find me. Because I don't get I don't get very much sleep. Like the medication I'm on. It makes me fall asleep or whatever. And then within an hour to two hours. I'm back up from being in so much pain. Talk to the doctors. There's nothing that they can do. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying. And with the opioid epidemic or whatever that they got going on or opioid crisis they don't they try to you know what i'm saying not give you pain medication that's gonna work so the next option that he was talking about was uh to um do injections mm -mm. that we ain't going that's not finna happen because i have a pinched nerve in my hip and when i went to the doctor for them to check it or whatever to see what was causing the pain they said that they wanted to do an MRI to see exactly what was going on to make sure my hip wasn't fractured because I haven't had any type of falls or anything like that so they couldn't under they couldn't explain the pain so they sent me to get an MRI now mind you these sneaky little devils did not tell me the ins and out of this MRI so my husband was off at work and my mom, you know what I'm saying, my dad, like, I'm like, okay, I'm cool, it's just MRI, everybody get, everybody done had one, or I assume everybody done had one, so I'm like, bet, I'm gonna just go get my MRI, come on back, or whatever, and wait for my kids to get in from school, baby, they ended up 
having to inject me. Like they got to use the um, x-ray machine or the ultrasound machine to find exactly where the joint is in the hip. So they line it up and they find it. So they was like, did anybody explain to you what's going what's gonna to go on? I'm like, uh, no. You know what I'm saying? They were like, oh, well, we're going to um, inject you with some um, contrast so everything can show up on on video i'm like oh, okay cool okay my other mri they gave me an iv or whatever the iv thing and they put the contrast in my vein in order for my stuff to show up on it for the whole body mri cat skin whatever man these people had to stick a needle down in my joint to put the dye into the joint for it to light up on the machine so the man was like um I've had this procedure done and I have to tell you that it's uncomfortable or whatever. He said, if you're in pain, just squeeze my hand. So I'm thinking like, okay, it's just going to be a shot. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Whatever. Man, this man stuck this needle. This thing was like this long. Stuck it in my joint. And he was like, um, once I get it in, once I get my part in and I inject you or whatever, then... We got to call another doctor in to make sure that I have my needle in the correct place. And then he's going to inject you with some. I said, wait a minute. Hold on. Y'all didn't inform me of me being stuck these many times. So the needle that's already sitting in there to make so the doctor can check to make sure it's in the right spot or whatever. They sit there and do that or whatever. And then another doctor got to come in and stick another needle down inside of that look. I'm crying. I'm crying so bad and I'm asking him and I'm like, how long does this take? When is it going to be over? And the, and the dude that was doing the scan, he was like, you could just hold my hand and squeeze it as tight as you want to. I'm like, uh, listen here, this stuff hurt and I'm just bawling and I'm bawling and I'm bawling. He was like, it's almost over. It's almost over. And then after they, um, inject you with the, um, the dye, then they're just, um, snapping pictures so after they inject you with the dye they gotta move move your legs and stuff around for or whatever for everything to show up that they looking for anyway make a long story short after they get my results back i had to wait a couple days to go back to the doctor that ordered the mri man this dude was like oh well um we're gonna um give you a steroid injection in your joint to relieve the pain so i'm like okay you know I go in there, y'all, it's the same shot that they had did to do the MRI, but make a long story short or whatever, I had to wait two weeks after they gave me um, the steroid injection in the hip joint. So I go back to the doctor and he was like, did it work? I'm like, no, I said, I left out of here in more pain than I was in before I even came to you. So they um, sent me to uh, um, his senior doctor send me to his senior doctor or whatever the guy that's um the head of the orthopedic department and he was like um how did the injections work out for you i said they didn't i said i left out of here in more pain or whatever but it's before i left or as before i came so i go to the doctor and he was like how your injections work out for you i'm like i felt worse coming out of getting the injections than I did before I even got the injections I said and this is no joke y'all this man put me on a cane and told me that I have a pinched nerve in my hip the main nerve that runs in my hip is pinched and that there's nothing that he can do for me he said with my age the rare um form of arthritis that I have and the fact that um, he just feels like I'm too young for him to put me through the surgery. He said most people that he gives the surgery to, it it doesn't help. It, it doesn't relieve the pain. It doesn't help. So it's just a waste of his time and their time. So only thing he suggested to me was um, do therapy. And I'm like, well, what are they going to have me doing that therapy? So he showed me the stretches. They're going to have me doing that therapy. I'm like, that's a waste of my time. I can do that at home. That's a waste of my time, waste of my money, waste of their time or whatever to be showing me these stretches that I can do at home or whatever. So, 
um, they gave me a cane um, to walk on to take the the pressure off of the hip. But when I say at nighttime, the pain is so bad. It's it's bad. Going grocery shopping? No. Like within ten minutes of me being in the store. And then y'all know how sometimes the store be congested or whatever. And then you sitting in there and you got to shuffle and pivot foot and all it is. Like you literally got to do the Cupid shuffle around the customers and everything. And I'm like, this stuff is so painful. Like I went to the store yesterday after I came from my daughter's appointment. And I was literally about to cry trying to drive home because I was hurting so bad trying to get around these people or whatever. And then I don't know what it is about Walmart first thing in the morning. Every old person you know. It's at Walmart. Like, they need to go late at night when ain't nobody in there because you can't get around them. And then they so rude, girl. They just be cutting you off and everything. So, I just, this pain is just, it's, it's, it's nothing to deal with. It's nothing to have. It's nothing to wish on your worst enemy or nothing. So, I'm pretty much back at ground zero. Like, he examined me and he pretty much told me. There's nothing that we can do for you. Then, um, I didn't even know I had a rare form of arthritis or whatever, but the what it is is my bones are literally deteriorating. And I can only imagine what it's going to be like in 10 years. I'm 35 now, so imagine what it's going to be like in 10 years or whatever. And I'm already having this significant amount of pain. Like, I, I can't I can't do this. This is, this, this is too much. And nothing works. Um, I buy those uh, salon pods, pain patches, or whatever to put on my hip directly so that I can have some type of relief. But that's it. But that's about it. And I'll keep y'all tuned on my next health update or whatever. And y'all just say a prayer for me. Peace.